Hi, my name's John and I'm the indie developer of this game called Crystal Rift. It's an Oculus Rift game and works on the Oculus Rift SDK2. I've had my SDK2 for a few days now so progress has been much quicker and I've been able to release an alpha demo with SDK2 support on the uh, Crystal Rift website, crystalrift.com. And uh, I've got lots of feedback, so thanks for that. I appreciate feedback. It helps me develop the game in the right direction, fix issues, and uh, I'm trying to be as responsive as possible and listen to what the feedback's been. Um, so I fixed a bunch of bugs and changed the fonts for signs, as you can see now, so it's much clearer to read when you've got the Arcus Rift on your head. Um, but the main issues has actually been all to do with the SDK drivers for the Oculus Rift SDK 2. Uh, they're more than a little bit temperamental at the moment and the OS X drivers don't even exist yet. I've been um, using the um, Oculus Rift SDK 2 and I've played a load of games now and, and every demo really that's SDK 2 compatible. Uh, I must say that I really like the Euro Truck Simulator, that's my favourite. And I can sit there and play that for a little while. Um, I've also got Elite Dangerous, and that's really good as well. Um, but my rig's not really fast enough to run that. I'm using an iMac, so uh, it's not really got the graphics power that it needs. So I might need to find a way of getting a PC at some point. Um, anyway, so uh, uh, rambling on about the SDK2, you're here to see a demo about Crystal Rift. So I've been working a lot on the um, the uh, minecarts and trying to get those working a lot better and easier to put into the editor. Um, they were a little bit temperamental with the first uh, alpha demo. If you get to the end of the first alpha demo, by the way, you get a little minecart ride if you don't go through the portal at the end. Um, so I've had a bit of feedback from that. So I've been working on uh, minecarts. I really enjoyed doing that. Uh, the idea for minecarts really came from um, using roller coasters on the Oculus. Um, it, I just thought it would be really cool to be able to get from an area to another area inside a minecart. Anyway, I'll set this one off and you can sort of see that they're now turning corners nicely. Um, got some good animation on the, the curvature so it, the wheels bend correctly and uh, things and it follows the track. Actually the hardest thing for me to do was to get it to follow really sharp turns which it obviously does now. Anyway, I need a nice little stop to, to thing. It might look a little bit jerky on your screen, but it's smooth when you're playing it properly. It's just I'm screen capturing, so I can set it off on the way back. So we'll leave that running off, because it's uh, going to do a, a track. But yeah, these sharp corners were a bit of a pain for me. Anyway, making a track's really easy. So I'll just demo, because not many people see the editor. Um, literally lay the... Uh, tracks like this so there we go you can rotate the tracks put them together do bends on them there's only a few choices of track at the moment so I imagine that I'll put more in later but I'll just go back on yourself here and I'll put a nice little end here a nice little start here oh <laughs> you can see the editor's a bit fiddly got a minecart on there and that's it off it goes. Um, follows the track I've just built and comes around to the end. Um, so here we are at the end ride um, of the alpha demo. And as you can see, you sort of trundle along the uh, tracks in your cart. So you can see below and around because obviously with the positional tracking, you can look at the wheels and stuff. Uh, so it's quite a cool experience just sort of looking around. I can set the speed of the minecart as well, so you can have a slow one or a really fast one. So have a, a bit of an experience. I imagine that we can create some really cool experiences with it as it develops along. So anyway, thank you for um, looking at this video. Find out more at crystalrift.com and uh, follow us on the Twitter sphere at crystalrift.